Internet of Things is uh, really about making everything we have around us a bit smarter, a bit better, a bit more useful. We have been connecting people to the internet for 20 years. Now we're starting to connect all the things. It's about, uh, for instance, uh, monitoring health in a better way. It's about making sure that the cars are connected so that they're safe. And it's also about making the buildings around us uh, much smarter. But first of all, this is not only about technology. This is very much about human needs and how we can serve human needs better. Close to 3 billion people have access to the internet in the world. Almost 2 billion people have smartphones in their pocket or in their hands. And I think all of us are used to using apps all the time. And I think without even thinking about this, we are steering, controlling devices around us with some of these apps. So this is something which has developed quickly over the last years, which has sort of gained or created a big market momentum around the Internet of Things, which is also why this is so important for Telenor to be part of. One thing is all the devices that are going to be connected. And that's interesting. But I think even more interesting is how is uh, the connected society going to really have an impact uh, in our lives. And think, for instance, about health. Uh, we know that there's an aging population. People need to stay longer in their homes. And it's going to be so many tools which is going to make it easier for people to stay at home longer. Once you start measuring the health data, you can have a, a much better predictive health services, meaning that you can know in advance before you get sick actually that you will get sick and you can get proper treatment to avoid becoming ill. I think most of the services that are going to be important in 2020 are not even invented today. But you can see so many needs that can be covered by IoT because sensors have become really cheap, communication is cheap, to store and process data is really cheap. Imagine for instance in agriculture we know that 70% of all fresh water today is used in agriculture. Around 40% of that is wasted. Through easy ways of uh, monitoring the moisture of the soil, you can actually reduce fresh water consumption globally at a very high rate. That's one example of how IoT can have a massive societal uh, impact. So far, IoT and the development of IoT products has been very much focused on US and Europe. But there's a huge uh, demand uh, and a huge unmet potential in many of our Asian countries. That's why, for instance, Telenor Pakistan has done a great job in uh, finding devices which is meeting the specific uh, Pakistani need. And one device which we are looking at spreading out to other business units as well is a child tracker, a simple child tracker, which makes it very easy for you to have control of where your child is and makes it easy for the child also to get in contact with their parents.